Hello dear corporate professionals, MBAs, young engineers, promoters, entrepreneurs and every student and learner out there. AI is impacting our jobs, our careers and our lives. And there are some fundamental changes AI is bringing. If we understand those changes, we can then change our approach accordingly and leverage AI to the maximum. Instead of being scared about it, there are positive things we can do with AI to actually go 2x or 3x on our own productivity. Welcome to Billion Hopes. This is Mentor Sandy bringing you AI for Real Impact. Today, we are going to see five major changes AI is bringing to our jobs and how we can understand and use and leverage these to become a more successful professional. Let's begin. AI's five direct impact on jobs. That's our theme for today. It is beyond any question now that AI is here to stay. And 2026 to 2030 would be a very critical period for the whole world as AI starts getting embedded deep into educational institutions, corporates, governments, and hence our lives. Yes, there will be a lot of initial struggles. Yes, there will be some mistakes, some failures. But largely, it seems that AI will have a lot of positive things to offer. That being that, and the truth being that we can no longer run away or hide from it, we should definitely upskill ourselves and learn many things. But for what purpose are we learning it? And that is the question we will investigate today. AI's five direct impact on jobs. But before I move forward, I recommend that you immediately take a subscription of our wonderful free AI newsletter, AI for Everyone, every Tuesday and Friday. You will have a beautiful AI summary of the current events landing in your mailbox. Go ahead, fill the form. The link is given in the comment. This will truly help you. I wish you all the best. And that you are here on my channel. There are beautiful membership levels, level 1, 2, 3 available. Go ahead, join and get exclusive videos and other perks within our membership section. Thank you so much. The five direct impact on AI jobs, as we can see, we will take up each one of them. First of all, we are talking about an impact in terms of every job having a cognitive co-worker now. So that's a very heavy term. In simple word, it means we have someone to share our intellectual workload with. If I was supposed to do a certain task requiring X units of my brain work, I can probably share X by two of that load with a coworker, which is an AI. A ubiquitous, omnipresent, ever present AI. So that is the first thing. Almost every white color job has a coworker now. Yes, for manual jobs and all. Having a co-working robot is still a far away dream and if we were to believe Rodney Brooks, one of the founder fathers of robotics, I've covered that in another playlist. Please do check Future of Humanity playlist. We will not have humanoid, uh, humanoid robots in the truest sense of the word even for several centuries. So that's another debate. The second major shift in our jobs happening for which we need to learn AI accordingly, work is shifting from execution to judgment. And that means a lot of routine stuff that we used to get paid for, routine bureaucratic stuff, is actually getting automated. And that is good. That is good because the quality of life improves, the rate of error goes down generally, unless, of course, the LLMs hallucinate and you have not built guardrails then. But otherwise, this frees us to do a lot of higher level cognitive tasks, including analysis, experimentation, observation, guidance, judgment etc. In the long run, society should benefit. This is the second major change happening. The third major change is the skill life cycles are collapsing. This is absolutely right. So, whatever agentic AI you are learning today, within six months, you will need to learn something new in addition to that. One fundamental truth remains constant. The principles behind agentic AI, they will remain the same always. The principles behind neural networks will remain the same. The principles behind machine learning models of 20 different varieties, they will always remain the same. 
but the front end, the way the tool got created, the way the tool features interact with the real world with you, they change, they evolve. So that is something you need to evolve with constantly. Good news, we are launching our Agentic AI program very soon, both on the Billion Homes Academy as well as free videos. A lot of them will be now coming on AI skills, AI tools, Agentic AI. Expect a lot from us in the coming months. So that was the third one, skill life cycles are collapsing. Fourth is that performance is becoming leverage based. What does that mean? A person who is not using AI will have invested a lot of time daily doing things you could have easily sp uh, speeded up with the help of AI. So that is the leverage. So instead of treating AI as an enemy, AI, you are a forever skeptic about AI, which is good. You should be skeptical because AI does have its downside in terms of energy, in terms of environmental damage, the water requirement, the concentration of power, oligarchic power, dystopian state surveillance. So many negatives I can think of, absolutely. But the fact of the matter is, it's upon us, right? We are not going to escape it. At least for our professional lives, we should be able to leverage it to the fullest. So a person not using AI and a person using AI, the leverage differs. And as a professional, it doesn't make sense for you to run away from it. And the best part is, you may be a non-technical professional, you can learn everything about AI. In fact, my whole enterprise is built around that, billionaire. And human traits are becoming professionally valuable again. If routine tasks get largely automated, then humans become very valuable for interpersonal communication, explaining the project's dynamics to everyone on a very micro basis, proper level, explaining what a code or an AI does in simple human language to everyone, doing proper process planning. I could go on and on and on what human beings are really very good at. Now we have a chance to excel at those because we have a lot of free time because AI has freed us up from that. These are the five big changes happening. So what was the first one that we just saw? Every job now has a cognitive co-worker. And what this means is 20 to 30 percent. From 20 to 30 percent, 270, 80, 90 percent of the work can actually be done by an AI. A lot of uh, job uh, descriptions which are facing this uh, rather uh, bluntly, consulting and legal jobs, there they have seen a massive impact of AI. Once again, I would add a very strong disclaimer here that to trust AI outputs blindly is to literally play with fire. So when I say that consulting work and legal research work has been impacted by AI, what I mean is, AI tools which have all the guardrails built in and expert humans using it who use the first level output as entry or as a basic input to another tool which can check it for accuracy and maybe a third which can double check it for accuracy and three, four iterations like this. That is embedded in what I am saying. I hope you have understood how to use these tools properly. So when we say that every job now has a cognitive co-worker, this is exactly what we mean. And be a lawyer or an engineer or a teacher or a doctor or a manager or a creator or any of the 500 professions that we may know of, AI, by virtue of the fact that it works on data as the raw material, is omnipresent. It's there everywhere. So if you were to ask me, will AI be there at the strategic chairman's level? Absolutely. The chairman doing a strategic decision making of whether or not to go for AI and hundreds of crores worth of projects over the next few years, first needs to learn AI herself or himself. Otherwise, how are those decisions to be taken? So keep that in mind. The second major change, I mean, I'm just picking up each one of from here. The second major change is work is shifting from execution to judgment. And judgment remains a pure human domain because AI doesn't have any life or consciousness or sentience or emotions or a true understanding of the 3D human world. So AI is just a tool. It has none of these. Anyone who tells you otherwise is taking you on a long joyride. He definitely knows it doesn't. So the human judgment now becomes very, very important. Execution is writing of the first and second draft, generating code, analyzing data, creating designs running simulations, all these are the execution tasks, which are very important. That's what businesses run on. That's what lives run on. I'm not saying that execution is not important. 
50 to 60 percent of this can easily be given to AI. So what is left now is decision making, prioritization, strategy, vision, ethics and empathy, accountability, oversight. I can assure you, ethics, empathy, compassion are going to be absolutely important in the coming years and human beings, managers, professionals, MBAs, engineers who lack an ethical framework to guide their actions, who have no empathy for fellow humans, no compassion, they'll be in a very tight spot because these are real skills people will value. So that's the reality check. Think about it. The third major change, life cycles of skills are collapsing. For example, there was a time when prompt engineering used to be a thing. Now, prompt engineering still is important because if you don't prompt well, you don't get the right output. That's known. Earlier, only some experts actually knew how to prompt. Now, the LLM will help you do the right prompting. You just have to give a rough prompt. You can even do it over voice. And you can say, give me a comprehensive prompt that does this, 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 this. And it will give you a proper 100 line prompt which will be very close to what you would have created with one full day of effort. So that skill is now gone. If you know basics of prompting, and I always tell my students and learners, before you even prompt anything to an LLM, you should know what is it that you want from. Your specific need should be crystal clear here. And if that is too difficult, pick a piece of paper and jot down. So if you wish to have a week-long diet chart, write down clearly what you want. I want a seven days plan, three meals a day, two snacks uh, break per day, uh, the kind of food I want, the kind of cuisines I want, my budget. Write it down on a piece of paper or in your mind or in a simple notepad file, text file, and then go about prompting. A lot of us make the mistake of prompting without giving due thought to what we want. How will any LLM or AI tool ever know what we want? It has no way to dive into our heads, right? So that prompt engineering thing is gone and now you have contextual engineering. So that skill is now changing. Similarly, every aspect of the AI story has skills which get updated. Wipe coding, for example. So now with certain newer LLM that have come up in December 2025, Expert programmers are saying that programming now will be very, very different. I'll talk a lot about that in one of my upcoming playlists on practical AI, tools, skills, wipe coding, agents. We'll do that. We'll talk about that every day. I hope you like it. Please do comment. Please do tell me about this video. Please tell me what you liked, what you did not, and more topics that you want me to cover. Your suggestions are very important. Now that you are here, please subscribe. Like and share this video and join our membership section also. Thank you so much. Then we see the fourth change. Performance is becoming leverage based. The best workers now are finding the best AI tools for their work responsibly. Not by cheating. A student who cheats on their assignments without telling the professors, uh, there is no big deal in that. I mean, it's not something great worthy. So the professors and students need to have a very open discussion about it. And education institutions also need to completely evolve their evaluation and assessment method. Similarly, a corporate professional manager with a team of 17 people under her, for example, must have a very open discussion about the kind of AI tools that people are allowed to use, the kind that they should not use because it can interfere, and guide that process rather than stonewalling it. So performance is now leverage-based. A smart person knows which AI tool is best for what. And the manager of such teams will also have that skill. At least the manager should have used the tool once so that they know instinctively what is good and where should we be investing our monies. Got it? So this is how it works. And as I said, the fifth and perhaps the most valuable thing that you should now be focusing on, your humanity is in demand. As a human being, you are back in demand. And these are your skills, empathy, ethics, creativity, leadership, taste, context awareness, responsibility, trust. No AI can have it. AIs are basically dead, right? They can never have it. No matter who claims what, that's pure hype and snake oil. So if these are the five changes which our society is now undergoing because of AI, why not make the most of it? Why not understand it and make the most of it? We have wonderful courses. 
If you are an absolute beginner in AI, go ahead with AI like IM10, generative AI like IM10 and AI technicals like IM10, wonderful courses for you. If you are a professional, an indispensable force multiplier full day masterclass is waiting. And if you are a CXO, one-to-one -one mentoring is available to navigate these choppy waters. So with this, we now come to the end of AI's five direct impact on jobs. These are the things that will now factor in and figure in your daily life. I wish you all the best doing well for yourself as a professional. Thank you so much. This is Mentor Sandy bringing you AI for Real. Life.